and welcome back. In this video I'll be going over the basics you need to know for hardwiring locomotives to DCC. To understand how we hardwire trains to DCC, we first need to understand how the circuit works on analog. So on analog you can imagine we have the track here, just label it as this, and it goes straight to the motor here. Yeah. So we have your positive and negative from the rails and you just feed into the motor. And if your train has directional or interior lighting, we have the lights wired up like this, parallel to each other. You can see there that that's your headlight wired up and then if we want to wire up a rear light, we wire it in the opposite direction. your circuit for analog so basically what happens is if we put positive here positive here you go around the motor spins that way and this light comes on and then it goes to negative but if we stick positive here see that the motor spins in the opposite direction and the light in the opposite direction comes on so that's just the basic wiring for an analog loco. If you had interior lighting, let's say non-polarized bulb, that would just wire in parallel there. But to wire this into DCC, what you really need to do is you need to put a decoder right in here. And next part of the video, we'll show you how to do that. We saw that was the analog one, and I said we need a decoder between the track and the components. So I've got a new sheet of paper, and I will show you how it's done. So we still have the track here and of course this is AC so it the positive and negative will always be changing and then what we do is we have the decoder here and this is your decoder. The wires coming out of the decoder they're color coded so you know where each wire goes for example track left I think is black and track right is red so those are your black and red wires from the decoder and look when wiring this up we will definitely want to use decoder wires if you use any other wires they'll be thick and they'll clog up all the wiring in your train so that's your decoder to wire up the motor we take the orange and grey wire so we can label that orange and grey and that goes into your motor here if we want to wire up any lighting just standard directional lighting we just take the white wire yellow wire and we take the blue wire. Now we can see this is different to analog because if we look at analog we only have these two wires going into the lighting section which if we go to DCC we have three. Turns out on analog we are wiring them like they're in the same circuit but on DCC they're almost wired separately. So the blue wire is the common positive that means that all the positive legs of the components will be joined to this so you can immediately go right we have our LED here so you can go like that so we have two LEDs in the train go like that and both of them join onto common positive and what these wires do is this wire represents the headlights that's your front running lights so we join that onto here, say, and that, that's your front running lights. And we join the yellow wire, which is the rear running lights, onto here. So these are the negatives, the white and yellow wire, and the blue is the common positive. So I'll just go through a bit of circuitry, say how this works. So this is always positive, this wire is always on while your decoder is on that's just normally the track current just with something around your track current some people say it's 12 volts but generally it is track current and 
this, these two ones, the white and yellow wires, they are only negative, they only complete the circuit and negative when you have that function on. So say we are going forwards and we have the headlight on, this will be negative and you can see the current will flow around here, the voltage, whatever, flow around there. And then if we have the red lights on, the will flow around here and around there. But of course, if we have the red lights on, that will not be negative. So it will flow just around there instead of going on both. These lights are the main, the only difference you need to be aware of when hard wiring to DCC. You can't just use the white and yellow wires here and wire the components on like that. It won't work. White and yellow wires act together to form what's known as function zero or headlights on most controllers. Right, so if you have any additional lighting functions on the train, you'll have wires left over certainly when you are hard wire a train because it's not normal that you use all the functions. So left over we have a green and a purple wire. So I'll just label them green and purple. Once again, like the white and yellow wires, which were function zero, they are negative, so we can go purple minus, green minus, and the green is function one, and purple is function two, and we'll just label both of these function zero for now. Right, so these basically work in the same way as the white and yellow wires, they are wired we have a component to the common positive. I'll just briefly show you how to wire up a function. Say we've got a bulb, just a standard filament bulb fitted. We can just stick it in here. And we want it to come on on function 2, say. Do note that function 2 is only momentary on US-based controllers, as that is normally the horn channel. And we can go around here. And we can join this back to common positive. And basically what that will do is is when it's function 2 is activated just fly around here through the bulb, the bulb we on to and through the decoder. Some people like me when you hardwire a train wire a socket into the circuit. Basically this enables people to swap the decoders. It doesn't give the train any extra functions. It's basically like it basically like enables you to take the decoder out and slot another decoder in there. It's basically so that if you buy a cheap decoder so that you don't muck it and mend anything up or blow it and it's cheap and it's gone, it doesn't really matter. But now you know it works, you can fit a more expensive decoder. A lot of people do that, which is why you may want to wire a socket into the train. If you want to know how to wire sockets, you can check out pictures on the internet. There are many pictures around that show you how to wire the sockets. There are many different types of sockets, and in fact, manufacturers are inventing more all the time. Have four pin that just is motor and track. There's six pin that supports a few light functions. There's eight pin that supports light functions and an additional function, and sometimes it has a, a function too. Twenty one pin you can really have as many functions as you really want on that. There's next eighteen and plus twenty two, which are just general adaptations for different trains enjoyed watching this video please comment like and subscribe and thank you for watching